It was last year that you uh, suffered uh, this accident, or was it? Because uh, I remember watching the the words, and I saw exactly how it happened. Uh, yeah. You were put in a normal flat, and you hit your head against uh, the mat, right? Yeah. And this is when it happened. Yeah. It was was like last year, 2014, semi final of the World Championships. I was facing Otavio Souza, you know, and uh, during the fight, he did the movement that. It's very, it's common, you know, we land on our back, we land on, on over our shoulder and head many times during training, during warm-up, during sparring, you know, and uh, at the moment I hit on the mat, I felt something like electricity, like on my neck to my, to my feet. And uh, since that hitting, my timing of thinking and my body do it, what I was thinking of, or my time of reaction was getting far between thinking and do, you know, until I stopped feeling the leg and was getting paralyzed. So, and then I got like shocked and I didn't understand what was going on. And then I don't remember what happened after that. I, the, in my head, I have already my coach, Leo Vieira, in the mat talking to me and the referee and some nurses and doctors. And, and I asked him at the moment, like, did I got choked out? Then he said, no, 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 no. You, you got in a swept, you got swept, you got an omoplata and you, you got in an armbar and then you just don't respond anymore. And then I start to feel that, I start to notice that I couldn't feel the legs, you know? And then I, I say, no, I can't feel my leg. And then he told the doctors, that was when they called a different group of doctors, they was trying to, to test my reflex on the legs. You know, I'm a, I'm a guy that I have very much, I'm very sensitive on the foot. If you touch my foot, I'm gonna get like tickless. And uh, at the moment, nothing was responding, you know, and that's what happened, but. And so how long did it, did it last till you uh, started feeling, have, like feel Back your again, and, took and five again. days at the hospital. At the fifth day, I, I, I start to feel I could move the toe, and then they put a machine on my leg. And, uh, but when I got to the hospital, immediately they did a lot of uh, X-rays and magnet, mag magnetic uh, resonance. resonance. And uh, they just found there was a swollen on the side of my neck, like a tennis ball. And this swollen was pressing a nerve. So this nerve was responsible to give the sign for the body to do the movements. So because of the swollen the pressure, the nerve couldn't do this. So the body shut down. But uh, after five days, you know, everything started coming back slowly. And, uh, you know, a lot of medicine, cortisone to take down the swollen, I got back. But you know, the do after that, uh, me and the doctors and the coach, they, we was watching the, the video of the fight, and I, I, even the doctors say, this doesn't even look dangerous. But he said to me something that was really important. He said, you know what was this? The problem with you guys, they are high level athletes, you are fighters. For you come to me, you have to come the way you can, paralyzed or blind or open fracture because if you guys have just the pain you're never gonna come here why because you train so much that you don't you can't make the difference anymore which kind of pain it's a good training pain or injury pain for you your body got to used to this you train a little bit you feel the pain you put some you know medicine or local so you can make warm you warm up, you ready, you go, but the injury is still there. He said, probably you had this injury for a long time, but you never took care of. You kept training, training, lifting weight, doing physical, you know, rolling all the time. And the injury was getting worse to worse to worse. And maybe this moment was the limit for your body. So the body just didn't have all the option then reacting like this to make you stop and take care of that. So, what? Because this is not a typical injury, right? I mean, uh, Braulio Stima 
suffered in a, a, a similar injury. I mean, the, the similar result, I think it was uh, a little bit more serious and yes, he had a surgery. Yes. But apart from that, we don't hear many uh, cases of such injuries. And at the same time, I think for many people, you or Braulio uh, can be uh, an inspiration, uh, recovering from a serious injury and still being able to come back and, and, and achieve a world title. So what would be your recommendation for people who, uh, who suffer from any kind of injury? Uh, how to come back? You know, both on a physical and a mental, mental. level. You know, the worst thing was the, the mental part. You know, I, I confess that many times I, I was, I thought that was, that was the end, you know, and I didn't know what to do. I mean, not just with my jiu-jitsu life, but I have kids too that really need me, you know, and don't be able to take care of them would be considered dead for me, you know. And uh, to be back, you know, what I recommend is that you, you, you must to be around of good people. You know, you must have people around you that really understand you. Know that this, what you do, it's really important for you. And in my case, I do jiu-jitsu for nearly 20 years and I can't do anything else. My family didn't, from the beginning, they didn't support me. They didn't like that I was doing jiu-jitsu. And then after everything started to happen in my career, they start support. And after the injury, they was scared. But they also understood that this was all I have. You know, this is number one, be around people that understand you. Number two, you really have to want it. You know, you can't accept that's the end. Because if you get comfortable with the end, you'll never be back. You know, and this is, this is a decision that I made many years ago when Terere invited me to train. I said, I'm going to do this until I die. Don't matter what. You know, and also, don't try to find somebody to blame or something to blame. Accept the fact of what happened, but don't get comfortable with the situation. Set your mind that you are able to be back. Maybe you would be limited, but you would be able to be back. There are many guys that have worse problems than me, and they are training. Guys that can't move at all, and they are training. You know, guys that are born blind, and they do jiu-jitsu. Why couldn't I be back, you know? What happened, like, for example, Otavio Souza, he's a great guy. I know him since back in Brazil when we was blue belt. And what he did in the fight could be the other way around. It was a normal movement. He didn't mean to make me paralyzed. You know, he, he did one attack that it's one of his speciality. Every, the, everybody in the world, the whole BJJ community know that he have sick, amazing omoplata attacks. And he said that, and he didn't mean to make me angry. Happen, and could be the other way around. You know, this is, this is what I recommend to people. Don't try to blame anybody, you know, accept the fact, but don't get comfortable with the situation. Set your mind and believe that you can be back, have faith, and be around of people that want the best for you, the people that understand you. And for sure, you're gonna be back. If you're gonna be world champion or not, you know, this is gonna be easy to achieve. But if you get yourself back, this is the hardest part. You know, everything else, you're gonna notice that it's, it's easier to achieve because you're gonna be happier, you're gonna appreciate more, and you're gonna see life in a different way. So that's my biggest advice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.